Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set from CAT 2021, slot 2 DILR, says that the different bars in the diagram provide information about different orders in various categories. So we are given some categories over here that were booked in the first two weeks of September of a store for one client. The color and pattern of a bar denote the ship mode. So there are three ship modes, first class, second class and standard class. The left end point of a bar indicates the booking day of the order while the right end points indicates the dispatch day. So this is the booking day, this is the dispatch day, right? this is the booking day, this is the dispatch day and so on. Okay. The difference between the dispatch day and the booking day is called processing time of the order. So it is booked on September 7th and it is dispatched on September 22. So the process time is 15 days. Similarly, here it is 1 and 3. So the process time is 2 days. For the same category, an order is considered for booking only after the previous order of the same category is dispatched. No two consecutive orders of the same category had identical ship modes during this period. Okay, So that is uh, redundant information because if you see uh, two consecutive ones have different kind of ship modes. Okay? For example, there were only two orders in the furnishing category during this period. So they have mentioned about furnishing category. First was booked on one. The first one was shift in second class. That is second class. And it was booked on September 1 and dispatched on September 5. Right? So it has a processing time of four days. The second order was shipped in standard class. So you need to read this paragraph, the last paragraph, only if you did not understand the text. Right? If you have understood the text, you do not need to read this paragraph. Okay. So that is given to us the three kinds of classes, right? And booking and dispatch states. So basically, the left end and the right end, you have to find the difference to get the process time. Okay, this is the booking and dispatch states. Right. So based on this graph, one had to answer these questions. So here's the set of questions. How many days between September 1 and September 14, both inclusive, had no booking from its client considering all the above categories? So booking means there should be, like for example, September 1 has bookings, right? Because you see that lot of values starting from here. So we need to find the days that have no booking. So we need to count manually, easy thing to count. We see there is booking on this date also. September 3 also we can see bookings. September 4, we have booking over here. September 5, here we have a booking. So September 5 is also not here. September 6 also, there is a booking over here. This is September 6. September 7, there is a booking. September 8, just look at it above 8. Now this is not booking. This is delivery, right? So left end is booking and right end is delivery. So you will not count this. This is a delivery date, not a booking date. So September 8, there is no booking. Okay. September 9 also, there is no booking. Now we need to count till 14. Okay. 1 to 14. So we have to see till this date, not beyond this date. Right. Now, if you look towards the last few days, right, there are no bookings after September 7. Hardly there are bookings. So, so the only day you see that booking is happening on this date, which is September 13. And rest of the days, you do not see any booking. Like, look at the graph from this region to this region. There are no bookings happening. Only on September 13, there is a booking. So, we will count all these days. We have to count till 14, both inclusive. So, you have to include 14 also. So, this, 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 this and this. So count the number of days 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So there are 6 such days. So a very easy question just to observe the graph and count the number of days. Next question. What was the average processing time of all order, orders in the categories that had only one type of ship mode? Now which all categories have only one type of ship mode? So if you see it is quite evident that only accessories and envelopes have one type of ship mode. Okay. We need to find the average processing time. So this is 1 and ending on 19. So processing time is 18 days. This is on 3 and ending on 7. 
processing time of four days. So these are the only two average of 18 and four is 11. Again, a very easy question. Next one, the sequence of categories, arts, binders, paper and phones in decreasing order of average processing times. Now they are not asking some random values. They're asking the first four items, right? So we need to arrange them in the decreasing order of average processing time. Now, if you see paper and phones, they have both three, uh, three kinds of uh, orders. Okay. And if you see phone, like the total is different, right? Phone is more than paper. If you see phone has three, three orders and the graph is longer. So phone is greater than paper. Now this will uh, enable us to eliminate some of the options. Right, so we can eliminate the first two options. Phone is greater than paper. So we have eliminated two options. Now we are left with binders and arts. So we can just calculate their average and tell the answer. Now art we have first September till last is 21 September. In 20 days, we have one, two, three, four and five bookings. So 20 by five average is four days. Binders, it is 1, 2, we have 16, right? In 15 days, we have 4 bookings, which is 3.75, right? Now, if we see 4 is greater than 3.75, we have to arrange it decreasing order. So, art will come before binders, art greater than binders. So, our answer is phone, art, binders and paper. So, we need not calculate for all, we just calculated for arts and binders. Because phones and papers, we know there are three items, okay, and phone, the delivery time is more, so processing time is more, so obviously their average will also be high. So no need to compare with the remaining two. Let's look at the next question. What percentage of orders had a processing time of one day during the period September 1 to September 22, both dates inclusive? So processing time of one day. Now there is one such item, two items, three items, four items, five items, six items and seven items. So there are seven items that have processing time of one day, right? Now how many items are there? So first case we have five items, five plus four, nine items, 12, 15, 17, 20, 23, 25, 27, 29, 31, 32, 33, 35 items. So 7 out of 35 is 1 fifth or 20% of the items. They have processing time of one day during this given period. So this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.